Tonight, as we come together around the table of remembrance, I want to draw a few thoughts out of 1 Corinthians chapter 11. The, um, you know, only God can do this. The one man who wasn't up there in the upper room is going to now speak about the things that happened in the upper room. We have a record here. He tells us here, he says, For I have received of the Lord. The Lord had to share this with him. Paul wasn't up there. But now look, when Paul sees this, he's going to give us more than actually anybody else has given us on the Lord's table. It was from Paul, the one that wasn't up there. And yet, when the Lord gives you something, it was just as though Paul was up there. Because uh -huh. Paul was with, with the Lord. I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. Now, there's a secret in ministering. Really, you can only validly minister the things that the Lord has opened up to you. But you notice with Paul, he, he had, this is his manner. Paul would always give the things that the Lord gave him. He would always give to the brethren. That's, that's, um, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which his, he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you, this do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. And when he had subbed, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's, show the Lord's death till he come. Now that's um, not a lot of words, comparatively, but there's a lot there. There's a lot. Paul's opening up something here that um, he's laying this, this out. He's faithful. God, God, Jesus showed it to him. Now, he, he didn't walk with Jesus when he was here on the earth. But he walked with him for, remember, three years down there in, in, in Arabia, he, he, he saw things firsthand with the Lord. He was an apostle with the Lord. Now, he's, he's given us some insight into this that, um, that is very necessary. What he, he, he lays it out. This is something that you are personally involved with. You're going to take this. He's going to say, take. And now there's no way. He doesn't give you an option. If, maybe, if you feel. Take this. This is something that you do. Now, I'm, I'll just share my heart with you. I'm very suspect or suspicious of any assembly that doesn't prefer to remember Christ. Now, that's just, I can, I can say that's my opinion, but it's just something that I, 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 I have a hard time with that. If you say you love Christ, but you just don't want to remember him. You just don't, see, the, the father said, kiss the son. Kiss the son, lest he be angry with you. Now, this is something he gave us to do. Isn't that what it says? This, do. do. You do this. Now, you do it. And see, the father loves the son. The father loves the son. Now, you're never going to have a moment when you remember Christ at this table that the father isn't glorified. Why? Because the Father's the one that sent him down to do the things we're remembering that the Son has done. God's accomplished a lot through the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. The gospel has accomplished a lot. Now, when you remember, when you set your mind to do what God said to do, well, see, this is very pleasing to the Father. This is a... I can't think of a, of a better way. Brother Gibbon brought this up just a minute ago. I can't think of a better way to glorify God than to do the things that he's left us to do. And what do we remember? Well, so we're not remembering the salvation as much as we're remembering the one. This is my body. This is very personal. This very, it's just calling our minds to remember a specific person, a specific thing that he did. He laid down his life. This life 
Remember what a sacrifice had to be in order for it to be a valid sacrifice. Couldn't have any blemishes. This, this sacrifice had to be absolutely perfect, absolutely able for God to receive it. It had, had no, no impurities. This body, this one you're eating, had no impurities. It was accepted of the Father. It was perfect. Now, this was the one that, that he's going to give for you. Now, we're remembering. Do this. And when you do it, do it in remembrance of me. Yeah. We're, this is something you can do with Jesus. Remembering his death. Now, he gave us his, the cup. Now, it's interesting, more than interesting. Look at this. He broke the bread and gave it to him. And then, this is what it says. He says, take, he, he break it, and he said to them, take it and eat it. When he gets to the cup, he says, and, and after the same manner, he took the cup after he supped, and then he, see, he, this is something that, it's already been brought out, but it, it's just, I love the way that's right in there. This is something that he did for them, and the same thing's going on right here. This is something that Jesus is ministering right now. It, this is his body. Well, you can't get any more personal than that. You, 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 can't, you can't do this table with, and, and be effective without Jesus being the one that takes the bread and breaks it, takes the cup, and I just, like, the implications, he's handed it. He's allowing you to participate in his life, which is what the blood meant, signified the life is in the blood. We're, we're sharing. And as often as you eat this, as often as you drink this, there's more going on here than just what meets the eye. This table transcends time. You're eating it now. This is very real. You're eating it right now. But you're doing it like with a forward stance. You're looking forward to the time. When he comes back again, you're going to eat it till he come again. He's, he is coming again. This is something that's going to happen. It's set on God's calendar. He's coming again. But what's going to make that remembrance vibrant to you is when it's linked with what God did in the person of Christ because it's all for that moment. When Jesus comes again, the things that are accomplished at this table, it's going to shine. I'm accepted because of what he did. Now, you remember that, and you keep that firm in your mind. Well, this is going to greatly assist you in, in waiting for the Son to come. He's coming, and on that day, we're going to be very, very, very glad that we remembered him. Amen. See, this is, this is, you're always safe in a safe place when you're remembering Jesus. Yeah. This is, a, this is um, much more, you know, I've learned a lot in this time, these few uh, months. This is much more than just something we do. But it is something we do. And it's, we're living in a time when this is falling by the wayside. And, um, you know, there was, this is nothing new. I mean, there was a time when the priest, remember they... The, the service of the priest fell by the wayside. We know how God felt about it. We know the things that he said. He wasn't pleased with the people anymore because they didn't do what he told them to. And so, see, this, you, you can't be in a better place than when you're doing. You, and this, this, he gave us something that we can do that we can know we're doing it. Well, anyway, that sounds simple, but I'm, I'm very, very edified to know that he gave us something very tangible and yet at the same time it's it's very it has a lot of depth in it because the lord's here doing it with us but it's um i i hope i i i got across my point this 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 is something that we do and and we're i know that i'm i'm very very pleased to be able to do it with the lord something my mother said to me years ago and i never forgot it company come over and they want to know why she was going to leave. They just got there and go to the assembly. And it, she said, because Jesus is there. Now, Jesus is here. And the whole assembly, basically, they met together to break bread. This was the focus of their reason they came together. So for this to fall by the wayside is telling us a lot. 
It's telling us that this, this the state of the churches is, is a bad place. When anything can replace the, the reason we come together, well then, really, it's just become like a social club. But see, this, this is, um, it's very effective. You remember the Lord Jesus, what he's accomplished. This is it's very, very effective in building up your faith, strengthening you, and um, aligning, realigning, once again, your focus on eternal things. Let's remember him again.